Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit But what happens if, if you get caught rocking? Um, do, do they, you know, the gang enhancement thing, is that still popping out there? Like if you All get- that is popping. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Like, uh, as far as the gang culture, it has evolved to something that is really not, like, don't get me wrong. And I mean no disrespect to current gang members that are out there on the streets doing their thing. Like, there's people that are going to die or kill for the hood, all ages, everywhere. However, there's not as many as before. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it does, because I'm grew. i in my 40s, and I grew up in the 90s when it was just in L.A. It was just popping, period. I mean, you know, 1993, 94, we were having, like, upwards of 2,500 homicides a year. Um, and I'm sure that was trickling into Oxnard. When, when was Oxnard probably, you know, when it, in relation to gang violence? When was it its most active, would you say? In the 90s, early 2000s. But I'm going to answer your question. So, like I said, evolution, you know, gangs are still there. Some people will still kill you. But it's not like when I was growing up, like somebody sees you wearing Raiders or white socks, you know, uh, Cowboys, uh, San Diego Chargers, like, Automatically, they're going to think you're from a certain section, and they're not even going to ask. If they're your rivals, it's a wrap, you know? Yeah. But now, not not as much. Now you can pretty much wear anything, and unless they know you or or you look like a cholo, they're not really going to trick. Yeah, and there was a time I have family from out of state, you know, who come to L.A. every once in a while. Back in the day, I would tell them, just leave all your sports caps at home. Don't bring no motherfuckers. Sports caps because every single sports cap is attached to some gang out here in L.A. And like you said, they don't ask questions. They just assume you're from a different rival hood and, you know, boom, there you go. But everything, everything is getting better everywhere, brother. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I thankfully. Feel, I, feel, I feel like with all this technology, there's like an easier way for people like yourself to just spread a good message instead of poisoning the, the youth with Nothing but bad knowledge, you know? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of that out there. Toxic I mean, knowledge. Yeah, a lot of that out there. Um, does Oxnard have a, a large Crips and Bloods population or even a presence at all? No, that's um, – Crips and Bloods are pretty much a non-factors over here, you know, like. Mm-hmm. Um, growing up, there was, there, was a, there was a black gang called the Black Mob, and they actually uh, – some of their members got arrested for, for some pretty heavy duty stuff like 187s and whatnot. But they're no longer there. I think there's some there's some guys that claim uh, West Side Gangster Crip, but they're not even there themselves. Okay. It's just brown on brown over here. Mm-hmm. And Oxnard, um, is it considered Ventura County? Yeah, it's been through our county 805. Okay, cool, cool. Back in, when I was growing up, bro, like, the hoods were separated by fields. You know, strawberry fields, mm. uh, lemon orchards, whatnot. Like, that was back in the 90s. Now it's 2021, bro. Uh, population is 220,000 people. That's not a small city, you know? Yeah, no. Nah. Damn. And I'm sure all those fields probably turned into, a lot of those fields probably turned into shopping centers and shit. Uh, pretty much they turn into apartments, apartments houses, yeah. shopping centers, but hey, bro, like, it's a, it's a beautiful city now. That's what I'm saying, like, it's beautiful because we got the beach, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And if you want beachfront property out there, people, I'm going to tell you right now, Oxnard is where it's going. The, the... Okay, look, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to tell you like this, brother. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of Malibu? Of course. Very the expensive. Weather, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we're the next city. Over mm-hmm. north of Malibu. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we share the beach with Malibu. Same shit. It's just an invisible border, right? Straight up. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know about the water. You know, the water might be a little better over there. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I like to look at it anyway. I don't really like to go in it. So. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> okay, cool, man. So, shit, Oxnard. Um, Let's talk a little bit more, man. What, um, 
so you went you you did the juvie because uh, I know you did prison time. Um, you, you let's start with juvie, man. Um, what was it like entering juvie hall as an active gang like, member? When I first opened the hall, there was a certain smell, a certain smell. Like I couldn't pinpoint what it was at first. You know, like it smelled different. Like I've never been anywhere where I could smell that. You know, after time, you know, I, I got comfortable and and I figured out that the smell that I was but I was sensing it was like just pretty much hatred, mystery, all the mm. bad stuff, you know, mm. all the bad energy in there. Like everybody's just mad, you know, like, you know, it's like, um, you're free. You're just a little kid. They take your freedom and that's when it all starts, you know, it makes you worse. Mm. Yeah. And <clears throat> did you go from juvie to, uh, to CYA or did you go straight to jail? Or what was the, no, well, I, I, I was I was a juvenile hall in and out. I did a few. They, they must have been for a few minor things in juvenile halls. And then uh, when I turned 18, I started getting arrested for a lot of firearms. Mm. So I got I got arrested once. I beat it because I was on probation. Uh, then they got me with some ammunition. And they got me with another weapon. And the weapons just kept on stacking up like pancakes and Finally, they got me on probation, and they got me with a shotgun, and that's when I went to prison, you know? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's what led you to prison. Um, your first Was this your first time, or did you go uh, after that? Well, prison is like, uh, like, this is like, uh, I really don't like to talk about prison, but it's related to prison, mm -hmm. so that's why I do talk about it. The parole system, bro. The parole system was just so crooked that I don't know if really? you ever talked to anyone that's been to the California penal system. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've talked to, yeah. It would take your freedom for one year. One year just on a violation. Mm. So just imagine, you know, you get busted a few times for violations, that's already like three, four years of your life. Yeah. I say like about six plus years as an adult just on violation. What the fuck? In all those times I went to law school, like, that's prison. You know, you go back to prison and they put you right there with everyone. And I just feel like that's so wrong. Wow, homie. Damn. <clears throat> what did you originally have? How many uh, months or years did you originally get? Well, originally I got, like, a couple, you know, a couple uh -huh. years. You know, but right here they have the, the, half, the half time. So you do have time. I did a few months, you know, after my first term. I just did a few months, got out, and then that's when the violation started. You know, I'm, I'll get busted with my homeboys or I'll, I'll get busted for, like, some petty stuff to where I told myself, like, you know what, when I get out next time, I'm just going to be armed and running a month because it's not going to matter. Mm. Anything they bust me for is going to equal what I'm going to get on the violation, so they probably won't even pick it up, you know? Mm. So it would, get, it would get to the point where you get busted with a gun, they won't even charge you for it. They won't even charge you for it because you already got time served. Mm. Just a violation, pro violation? Just like a 12-month parole violation. So that's 12 months. That's a whole year. They bring you back from prison after that year. How much more time can they give you? I mean, mm. it carries only like... 